Your little sister looks like a bird. <laughs> As brothers, Sam and Fatu Montagni share many common interests. They both like basketball and like to make other people laugh. I'm looking like an Italian. <laughs> It's a brotherly bond, and because of extraordinary circumstances, it's a bond that will never be broken. It burned my ads. <laughs> and they had to amputate him. Last December, Sam was working on a power line when a piece of scrap struck a live line. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors had no choice but to amputate Sam's hands. I woke up. I still had my hands. And they, they were moving, but only because of my wrist muscles. I was more worried about just getting there. <laughs> Sam's younger brother, Fatu, flew to Colorado as soon as he heard the news. It was hard watching the doctor come in and talk to Sam because I kind of knew that he wasn't going to have his arms. And uh, we played basketball a lot. And... Um, I didn't want him to have to not be able to play basketball. Adding to the emotion was Fatu's own personal story, and it's a story you may remember. One man is electrocuted, another seriously injured while working on a power pole today. Back in 2008, Fatu and his colleague Steven were working on a power pole in Mill Creek. When the two came in contact with a live wire, Fatu was severely burned. His friend and work partner was killed. The guy below me tried to save me and he died trying to save me. Fatu would remain in a coma for about two weeks, and despite efforts by the doctors, Fatu lost his right arm. I wasn't really angry until I got home and realized what I could and couldn't do. I don't want to ever leave any family member behind. Following that accident, it was Sam that rushed to his side to take care of his younger brother. Now the roles are reversed as Sam recovers from the accident that nearly killed him. I wish I had a time machine. I wished I would have quit before this happened. There's a lot of things I wish I would have done different, you know. And then you realize, well, you don't have a time machine. You wake up, still look down at your hands, they're not there. I was hoping I'd be the only one that would have to go through this. And when you go through something like this, you never like wish it upon your worst enemy. Um, so to see someone you love go through it is really hard. Sam knows he has a long road ahead of him, but is determined to get his life back on track no matter what obstacles may stand in his way. I don't want to stay in my house. I want to be able to do everything I used to be able to do. And he will be able to do those things, thanks to the bond that he shares with his younger brother, a pair of accidents similar in nature that have brought these two men closer. I can relate to him more than anyone else that I've been able to meet. I've told him is that it's not up, 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 it's all up, down, up, down, and you're going to be all over the place. My brother, he means everything to me, uh, just like every single family member that I have.